Hello everyone and welcome back. So in today's video I wanted to share with you a tool that I've been developing for the past week. It's basically a texture projection tool that works uh, with cops in the background. And yeah, I'm gonna be demoing the, this tool and let's see how it works. So one thing I should warn you about is that this tool is still in beta, as you can see from the name. And there might be some potential issues, mostly with the, with the undo queue. I tried to figure that out, but it's one of my first times developing such complex tool with Python states that there might be some issues. And if you have iPoly geometry, this might not be the fastest tool. So I'm going to enter and you will have a check saying all good if you have vertex UVs and no UDIMs. So this tool doesn't support UDIMs, unfortunately, because COPS doesn't support UDIMs and this runs on COPS. So I'm going to place a texture and I'm going to right away change this to another picture I have in here. So in this case, the Audini logo. I'm going to hold control and rotate it. And maybe go in the front view and scale it. And as you can see, it will clip in here so you can play with the max distance. This is just a mask so it doesn't project on the back as you can see if I reduce this. So if I increase instead, oh, it will project on the back. It's still a work in progress, so I'm going to increase this a bit and make sure it doesn't project. Yeah, and I'm going to scale this a bit down and that's fine. Now I can place another point and you can also change the near point radius, which means that we'll grab that point, as you can see. And if you are close to a point, you, that's the radius you have in here to if you want to place. If I reduce it, I can place one in here, as you can see. Now, this is, I'm using a uh, left mouse click, left uh, mouse click and drag, and I can use middle click to remove the projection. And now I'm gonna change in here the texture. So I'm gonna use this one, let's say, or another one. So I'm gonna bring this in here and choose maybe this one and scale it down and drag it. So now the near point radius is too small, so I'm gonna increase it and drag it. As you can see, it's not the fastest tool in the world, but it can help you out in some situations. I'm gonna scale this logo out. And it's also lower resol resolution right now. You can increase the resolutions to uh, 1K, let's say. So I'm gonna place another one in here and pick, let's say this one. So I can increase it or decrease it, drag it around, and you can always go back and drag this one in here. And hopefully the undo will work. So I just placed a point. I'm gonna control Z and control Y to redo. So that should work. But in, my, in some situations, it might not work perfectly. So for those situations, what you can do, if I can place this one, I'm going to scale it down. You can just remove all and it will reset the tool or I can undo and we'll have it back. So that's basically it. Now you have a path to the, to the COP network that you can copy with this button. And you can just place these on uh, your image texture in Solaris, but make sure you make it transparent so you have, you can overlay these over other uh, textures or materials, whatnot. And you can also change the background color just for visualization purpose. And you can also turn on and off the projections just to just to preview it. And you can also change the texture, play with the scale in here. And you, you, you can enter manually the rotation if you want. So if I change this to zero, but I want that at 90. And it's cool because you can come in here and drag it, scale it and rotate it, you name it. So that's basically it. Uh, you can grab the tool on my Patreon. I'm going to be sharing for free with all the Patreon supporters. And uh, I can show you in Solaris. So I'm going to move this to Solaris. Hopefully this doesn't crash my Odini. And as you can see, I have in here a demo scene. And the way I'm bringing that tool is by bringing the, the textures is by grabbing the... So let me pin this. I'm just going in here and I can just copy this one so we can change it. And in the material, I'm just loading a material X image and I can paste it in here. And hopefully this will change. So let's make sure. Oh, it's not in here. Sorry. This is not the material. Which one it is? I didn't name this, so I don't know which one it is. Let me change this. So it's this one. Yeah. 
And as you can see, it's bringing with transparency and I can use a mix to place another color in the background. And if you render, and don't forget, you can increase the resolution at the end. So that's how you, why is this this color? Now I'm wondering. Oh, I believe I know why, because I didn't make it transparent. So if you come in here and make it transparent, now it should load the background color, as you can see, and it will overlay, it will merge over the top, the base material, I mean. So yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you found this cool. And uh, as always, you can grab the scene files. I'm going to share this bottle model I did on Patreon, so you can play around with the tool. And if you find any bugs, especially the Patreon supporters, where I will be sharing this beta tool, if you find any bugs, please hit me up and let me know so I can potentially fix it. That's basically it. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.